What was it that made you say, I have to do this? I didn't have to. I just, I acted, I guess. I don't know, it's, that's just me. You know, you see a house burning on fire, you, me anyways, I figured help. And even with his hands bandaged and his face burned, DJ Duquette would not call himself a hero. The 18-year-old was one of the first to spring into action to warn his neighbors that their house was on fire. The whole front end of the house, literally the whole front porch and everything was lit up on fire. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like a jump through and then, hey, hey, and then I was like, ooh, you know what I mean? They, they got up and, you know, they went straight out. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. It all happened at 700 North Monroe Street in Monroe Friday the 13th. DJ and his mom heard someone outside blaring their horn. The house next door was engulfed in flames. Inside, two adults and a little girl. I definitely do feel like I did save the little girl's life, you know, like if I wouldn't have woken them up, you know, they wouldn't have gotten hurt. DJ's courage was costly. He spent eight days at the Toledo hospital for smoke inhalation and burns, the latter of which are now badges of honor across his body. Third degree on my hands and my, uh, my back a little bit. I got burns on my knees and my elbows, my hands are the worst. Now, as you can imagine, DJ's road to recovery will be pretty extensive. And while his family does have medical insurance, it won't cover everything. DJ's uncle set up a fundraiser to help cover the cost of medical bills as he recovers. And despite the pain he's in, DJ says he would do it all over again in a heartbeat. This is all temporary pain, I guess they call it, you know, whatever they call it. You know, this isn't going to be here forever. I could have lost my life forever. You know what I mean? They could have lost their lives forever. You know, it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm just so happy that they're safe. In Monroe, I'm Randy Wembley, Fox 2 News.